marijuana legalization. Yes, no, maybe. Where do you stand? Quickly. I, I don't have a position on that. I'd say I, I'm. Uh, uh, I, I grew up as as a severe asthmatic, and to me, my lungs are precious. I now run marathons with the help of albuterol. Once I discovered that, it was like growing new legs. So I love my lungs. They didn't work for the first 30 years of my life. Once they started working, uh, the last thing I wanted to do was put smoke in them. So it's not for me, but I'd have to examine the, uh, the issue uh, more, in more depth. I mean, because the thing I liked earlier that you said voluntary, and I think uh, if you really look into the marijuana issue, there is a lot of voluntary actions that happen. People are helping each other. It actually has a lot of good benefits. There's jobs. There's all this. I would love you to look at that well, closely. Well, the, the libertarian in me says, you want to do what you want to do to your own body. God bless you. That's none of my as business. An as, as, an a, as an adult. As an adult. And there's a lot of things, too, Joe. Like, I want to explain some things about cannabis. Is you, you don't, a lot of medical patients do not smoke it. They're using vaporizers or edibles or other solutions. Maybe sometimes there's a rub on their, you know, on their, on their pain. You know, it's a, it's a muscle rub. There's a lot of other. As same with hemp. You know, it's the whole plant. A lot of us have different things we would like to see done with this hemp plant and, and remove prohibition. And for people with jobs too, uh, so many people are being penalized for these busts. Whether they, they, even in Massachusetts, I hear from people they, they bought two bags at once because their dealer. Had two, they're, they're in possession, now they're getting charged with felony drug dealing, even though they're not drug dealers. You know, it's like, this stuff needs to end. For, you know, we see it so much, so I just want to make sure you... No, no, I, I'm, I'm sympathetic to that perspective. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you could create some magic wand that could ensure that no child got his hands on, on hemp. Well, I uh, think, I, you know, I, again, I don't want to get too far deep down into this, but, but if you could do that, I think you'd, you'd get a, 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 a huge broad support. I think the, right. the concern is, Children have access, and they do now. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more. It's more. They accessible. have it more than the adults, right? Yeah. So, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Adults. So. Uh, but I think um, it, it once it, by legalizing it, perhaps you you give the, the signal to young people that um, it's okay for them, and uh, you know. Uh, I have to think about the issue and a little more. Alcohol is, is totally socially it, sanctioned, and it, it's now a, there was an article dangerous. that just came out this week that said that um, in studies of people and later drug use, almost all of them, the actual indicator of whether they were going to be drug users and abusers was alcohol use at a young age, sure. and that's their gateway drug. Yeah, right. And so you know, it's it seems somewhat you know I t I can totally understand where you're coming from. I work with children. Uh, that's my job, yep. you know, so I understand and I certainly don't want any children to be, uh, you know, smoking marijuana when they're not an adult and they can't make those decisions, their bodies are developing and all that stuff, but at the same time to penalize adults, put them in jail, you know, uh, waste so much money, uh, give more power to cartels, all these other side effects to potentially, you know, to quote unquote protect a kid from marijuana that can still go get it on the street. I mean, no matter what, <laughs> under prohibition and it's unregulated, there's no license that you need to show. There's no way that you need to, you know, oh, now I'm getting told to wrap it up on my spiel. <laughs> speed uh, round. Uh, this is such a uh, 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 <laughs> I, 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 I love the rant. It's true. <laughs> you had to know we were bringing you into yeah, the lines yeah, that's for fair. this one. <laughs> and you make, uh, you make a terrific sense, and I, I, you know, you're, you're, you're starting we're to win me over. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. Yeah. I, I have an open mind. <laughs> Remember nothing else. I have an open mind. All right. That's, we can what, certainly what tell.